Hello again. I was hugely entertained to read the trigger warning before the piece on the BBC website about the resignation of Greg Clark. It says, warning, this report contains offensive language. I couldn't imagine what Clark had said. Perhaps what is known quaintly as the N-word? Well, no. The offensive word here is coloured. What a disappointment. He had merely referred to coloured footballers. The fool. If only he had thought to refer to them as footballers of colour, he could have avoided all this trouble and the need to resign. I confess that the news about Greg Clark sobered me a little this morning, because when I first saw his picture in the newspaper, I thought, oh, well, he's an old fossil. You can't really expect him to keep up to date with changing language. <coughs> I then discovered he is younger than me, some years younger in fact, I was already at school when he was born. <laughs> the problem is that unless you actually spend time with black people, um, you're not apt to keep up to date with what is acceptable. Uh, many years ago, in 1974 in fact, I was in an earlier incarnation a civil servant at St Catherine's House in London, the Office of Population Censuses and Surveys. I was in charge of the typing pool. A black woman at that time was offended because she found that somebody had referred to her as, well, a black woman. <laughs> she thought calling her a woman was rude. The correct word was lady, and she didn't care for being described as black either. She thought coloured was a more polite expression. In short, she wished to be described as a coloured lady. I... <laughs> I can't imagine using uh, that phrase today, but I suppose if I'd only knocked around with white people in the intervening 46 years, I might not realise that times had changed to such an extent. I can't imagine today talking about anybody as a coloured lady. As for the other offensive thing which Greg Clark uh, said, this was that... There are a lot more South Asians than there are Afro-Caribbeans in the FA's IT department because they have different career interests. Well, yes, <laughs> this is undeniably true. When was the last time you saw a Gujarati or Sikh playing for a Premier League team? Or for that matter, when did you last come across a black chartered accountant? Of course there are different career interests. Why shouldn't there be? This did not stop Sanjay Bandari, executive chair at Kick It Out, from denouncing Clark for lazy racist stereotypes, of course. Presumably we can soon expect Sanjay Bandari to be retraining as a footballer or boxer or something.